whether it's transforming your space or sprucing up that little corner in your space or in your home imported tiles are the way to go their glorious charm and uniqueness really will bring that oom um factor in that space that you're looking to transform or spruce up Hello and welcome. My name is Mayuri Nagar and I'm back at the My Tiles Experience Center today again with part 2 of imported tiles. So you are going to really understand what else do we have in the imported tiles uh you know collection at My Tiles and by the end of the video I think you will be wanting for more. So let's check them out. If you are looking to revamp a very large space, cost is often a very very big criteria of it. In fact it is the only criteria but my tiles here to no compromise one by one two by one geometric tiles imitate or actually give you a look of several smaller tiles being put together like this one give you those elaborate grooves over here that almost seem like each tile has been grouted separately but with lower effort on grouting and therefore lower cost options bahut hai Over here this one is a china made tile and there's another one who is her, who is her friend who is over here this one right so this is again another friend of this particular tile different pattern but very gorgeous tiles two by ones again made in china great application in kitchens in bathroom sink uh backsplashes even in powder rooms very easy to clean and maintain them the grooves are appear like grooves but they really don't collect as much dust as a normal groove would so this is a great option to look at uh we have already shown you some options in this particular geometric tile series we'll show you some more right away the edges are aligned in such a way that you always get the maximum aesthetic glamour without any hassles the chevron herringbone and grid patterns in geometrical tiles will continue to be a popular choice throughout 2024 so let us now look at some spain made tiles with great textures like sand texture or stone texture very good replacement and a cost effective replacement for say stone cladding as well uh these are basically having some geometrical patterns like you know rectangular or lines over here if you can see over here there are some lines and some you know geometrical triangles etc shapes basically embossed on these uh they are a larger size much larger size than 2 by 1s but they help in literally filling up the space especially a larger area that you're trying to change in you know or or transform into uh again i wanted to call out these are spa, uh, spain made tiles so um great option if you're looking at geometric patterns in your space and trying to cover a very large space so let me now quickly browse through an exclusive collection of imported tiles great shapes great glaze glaze and very nice uh, you know uh, glossiness that you can use from these let's quickly walk you through them some gorgeous shape tiles some fluted ones glossy tiles pattern tiles then you have some great colors in subways different type of subways these are post embossed made in spain tiles and these are some very nice pieces that have been manufactured in china uh, some of these really cool colors are over here prints are over here in glossy again a very nice uh, pattern some of the things that we've just shown you are there in this particular panel that i'm browsing you through this is our marki uh, box set uh, sort of a you know nice uh, basket weave kind of a shape over here so that's really nice pattern in in the way you can lay those uh, subway tiles these are again glass highlighter tiles some of different patterns that we have probably not shown you before again something interesting over here so these are some gorgeous tiles that you can actually look at from the imported collection uh, and and i think that's where really we wanted to browse these and show them to you so that you remember them you can take a screenshot of them and go ahead and show them and use them in your home beat gold silver or chrome metallic tiles bring that glam and grand appearance to any space that they have been applied in if you associate metallic finishes with a lot of glitter 
then you're in for a different kind of viewpoint over here because if you look at say bush hammered or say honed finishes and metallic finishes they are extremely uh, subtle and very great uh, option for modern spaces here we are looking at something which has a very nice rustic look and uh, is a mosaic metallic tile in this case it's been laid on these pieces have been laid on a panel and can be easily applied they have very interesting texture and everything has different colors very very multi color very colorful very rustic yet glam uh, definitely an interesting option if you're looking for that color and glam in that particular space however third fired vitrified tiles with say mirrored finishes Uh, some gold trims or even marble finishes can really be an effortless choice for those different spaces that you would like to apply for example this is a third fire tile which has lot of glossiness and has metallic accents that can sh shine through this as you can see and uh, is a great option whether it's a ethnic a more indian space or even a very very modern space wooden tiles are all the rage right now because of the aesthetics they provide the flooring is cool but yet provides a wooden look wooden appearance it also gives that richness and the feeling of luxury under our feet if you look at over here these are all wooden tiles that are made in spain and beautifully laid in herringbone pattern and the colors look at the tones that are available perfect for any space the options are so many you can choose and apply it in any space there's a second option over here where the same chevron tiles have been laid in a different pattern and again you have something which is say going from a nice gray to a warmer tone of brown and something very cool like a white or an off white if you will right these are some very nice emulation of wood so they literally look like wooden uh, you know tiles uh, or wooden flooring and they imitate it so well for example if you look at another one over here if you look at this one over here this has a beautiful rustic charm very very uh, you know old time and gives very nice color uh, combinations over here like this is almost a little bit blue with say brownish tones wooden tiles are not just a great option for residential spaces but make a very good option for even commercial spaces like restaurants even bathrooms and high traffic areas auditoriums and any other space that you can think of they feel great under your feet and do not have the wear and tear like of actual wooden flooring uh, easy to maintain moisture proof so many benefits that you can look at Well, fluted tiles are a hot favorite these days, especially due to their applications in minimal and and Scandinavian spaces. They have the most amazing textures and also the look very sleek and minimal. It makes them not just a perfect fit for residential spaces, but also for a lot of commercial spaces. Whether dining in or dining out, both kind of spaces can be. Uh, adorned by these beautiful uh, tiles uh, they have a very sleek and nice look um, you can see their applications not just in bathrooms but also in kitchens and even dining nooks right so they make a great uh, option to be applied anywhere how we all love wallpapers right they're absolutely trending and specially tropicals if you want that wallpaper style elegance tropical tiles and box sets are the ultimate choice Combine them with neutral shades, terrazzo, or even fluted tiles to add oomph to your spaces. We are now going to be looking at a section which talks all about two by four slab tiles. Uh, these slabs could be tropical tiles, could be terrazzo tiles. The one here is the terrazzo we are looking at. These are all imported tiles, slightly glossy finish, but still kind of matte, very smooth finishes that are there. um you have the various colors and you know tones available over here we'll also be talking to you about some mood boards and applications of these slabs along with smaller tiles to show you how you can create a concept and apply it in your homes 
whether be it a kitchen, be a bathroom or a living space. Speaking of 2x4 slabs, this gorgeous tile, uh, 2x4 slab that is made in China has the right amount of color and glam together with those metallic accents, the lines that you can see here. Very cool uh, for giving maybe smaller spaces a bit taller look, especially if the ceiling height is uh, not that great. And also if you want to give some vertical, uh, almost a wallpaper like uh, effect, you can do them vertically or horizontally. Great choice again for smaller rooms. If you love porcelain as a material for your tiles, these Spanish made porcelain 2 by floor slabs are perfect for your home. They have that little rustic and sort of stone textured finish over here. These come in three colors, slightly white and this is a bit of an off-white. This one is in grey. Great to cover large spaces without too much of a grouting effort and also provide that industrial uh, plus a little bit of natural motif finish uh, that you can actually get in those spaces. So now we are stepping into the most exciting section which we are, where we are going to speak to you about mood boards. Mood boards are nothing but we put two, three tiles for you to understand that there is a concept, there is something that you can uncover in terms of what themes you like, what colors you prefer, what is it that you like uh, to pull from these mood boards into your space. So let's look at the first one. I think this style is absolutely gorgeous. We're using two by four slabs over here. There are different, different color slabs that we are looking at and different patterns. Let's talk about the first one, which is a beautiful tropical tile. The tones are blue and green. And with this, we have a matching, a slightly rustic finish two by four over here. Both of these are very complementary. If you're looking at say a bathroom as a space, this one and this one can really assist you in highlighting spaces as well as creating those shower surrounds, almost spa-like qualities. This one, because this has almost a flooring look, right, where you have smaller tiles being put together, but there are almost four or fake grooves that show that it looks like a, this thing. Plus, it has very nice texture, which makes it almost anti-skid. So a great application for your flooring. So flooring, surrounds or highlighter, surrounds or highlighter. Great, um, you know, combination that you can use, switch them differently. If you're looking for something more muted, you can also go a little lighter in these two categories and then combine them together and create something beautiful with this one. I think while this is a very subtle, simple tile, it will add that oomph, that subtlety but beauty in your bathroom or for that matter any space you're planning to apply it in. Looking for that slightly girly bathroom or in love with some blushes in pink, this is the mood board perfect for you. We've got a very nice mood board over here which will uh, cover two concepts, right? Two different concepts or combinations if you will. So for a bathroom, this is a beautiful floral tile, uh, very vintagey, very you know, or great for like say even a powder room. Uh, even a tub uh, backsplash actually. So something that you can use as a wall tile. This also can complement along with this if you're looking at the first concept. So this can actually help you neutralize a lot of floral, right? That is something which you can do. Uh, you can use this as a part of your shower surround or as the uh, backsplash for your sink area, for your WC area, whichever one you want to highlight. If you feel like there's too much floral and you want to tone it down, you can use this as the primary wall tile and this as the uh, highlighter tile. Uh, this is going to be your floor tile because it has amazing texture, a lot of roughness to it which makes it perfect as an anti-skid flooring tile. The blush pink or the little pink and slight you know, glossiness that you see over here makes it really nice or uh, you know complements this particular tile that we are looking at. If you are looking for some more modernity then you can skip these and use these subway tiles to your benefit. Use them in herringbone pattern to do the entire shower surround and use these uh, behind your w, uh, WC or behind your sink area to highlight it. Powder rooms with this and this in combination would be great. If you're making a dramatic blush pink, maybe you know vintage or French country style bathroom, you can actually go for this one, this one and this one. Really good. If you look at these over here, this is just the perfect 
uh, style or combination we can uh, you know use for a vintage or a french style cottage style powder room how can we ever end a mood boost section without showing you the last one as the tropical one here again we are looking at a similar concept with beautiful birds of paradise flowers some very nice imagery tropical imagery over here in the 2 by 4 slab this being used as the uh, flooring option and this one helping you highlight or being used as a shower surround you can also alternate between these two to make a two tone wall to highlight the upper section and the lower section within the uh, bathroom uh, in this case if you look at the bathroom section these are beautiful kit kat tiles with some vintage rustic effect so when we look at this particular one you will be able to use it as is as panels in your shower surround section uh, you can also use this in the shower surround and this as the highlighter so you can switch up things you can even switch up colors there are plethora of options in these kit kat tiles by the way in terms of colors uh, you can check them out in our previous videos as well uh, create uh, this thing and we'll try to even link them below for uh, you to check them out from the description as well so definitely something to create that little spa green spa green theme with something neutral uh, with this i'm ending the mood board section and now we're moving on to installation and maintenance and further to faqs well now we are at the installation section where we are going to guide you how to install imported tiles well to be fair installing an imported tile versus any normal tile is no different chisel any sturdy brick or mortar wall and you are good to go to install any tiles of course pop doesn't hold tiles well because it's not such a strong material so avoid installing tiles or in fact do not install tiles on pop please use spacers these are plastic spacers that i'm talking to you about almost look like crosses little crosses but are uh, used to create that space for grouting around tiles they're not just for creating that aesthetic even look they do much more than that so if you look over here i have to place a spacer like this right if i put a spacer like this and you can see we've already installed some for the ease of understanding over here they create that groove over here that eventually gets grouted when you look at uh, the spacers they hold along all the four sides keeping dust moisture and grime out of the way if the area is regularly exposed to water heat or moisture then just replace regular cementitious grout with epoxy grout the synthetic polymers in epoxy grout absorb pigment better and keep your surfaces looking as good as new depending on the tile style and layout the installation of your dreams is just a few steps away and by the way in case of any confusion my tile sales executives are always happy to assist learning how to maintain your imported tiles is not just going to help in making them shiny but also increase their life and durability maintenance of imported tiles is not much different from normal tiles you can wipe it every day with a towelette for regular maintenance for delicate glazes go ahead and use a microfiber cloth that's what is recommended by my tiles and then if you're looking for deep cleaning them use non abrasive cleaners that are easily available in the market stay away from acid or bleach based cleaners they could really seep under the tile and eventually lead lead to breakage or damage and therefore reducing the durability of your tiles so these are some of the points that you need to remember in order to maintain your tiles and increase their life uh, and keep those really shiny spaces looking shiny we are officially into the faq section questions that keep you up all night we are going to answer them for you the first question starting with who are these manufacturers of imported tiles to answer your question these are either artisanal families or family businesses that make these a uh, beautiful tile their dedication to the art reflects in their work my tiles supports them wholeheartedly are imported tiles fragile you ask well it all depends upon the design and the material being used for example if you have ceramic based tiles with rustic finishes they are prone to be slightly more fragile than the other tiles that are available that is also the reason why my tiles does not ship all of its products across the country 
are imported tiles difficult to un install well no as long as you forward a very straightforward process and show that wherever you apply or install these tiles uh, the the surface is chiseled it's sturdy uh, it can take the load please don't use pop surfaces for installing these tiles uh, rest of it follow the process and you should be good to go Are these tiles difficult to maintain? Absolutely not. As long as you follow the precautionary steps, the ways that we have shared with you to deep clean them, you are good to go. You will never have any issue. Please refer to the maintenance section that where we have spoken in detail about it so that you can get all the steps that you need to follow to maintain them properly. All said and done, I'm really curious to know which tile did you pick up for your home? Comment below which one did you pick up and let us know. Uh, we are going to be looking out for your answers in the comment section. As always, we've linked all the links in the description for you to check out, for you to explore some past videos that might be really interesting for you. Until then, follow us and catch up with us in the next video, which is going to be about something new and exciting. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Until then, I'll see you. Hasta la vista.